Yo, what is going on guys? It's the one and only one Hennis and today I am bringing another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video over here onto my channel. Now today guys, what we're going to be talking about are the potential last set of DLC weapons that could be coming to Black Ops 3. So as you guys know, over the course of the last year, Treyarch has been releasing DLC weapons intermittently throughout the lifespan of Black Ops 3 to try to keep the game fresh. You guys probably know what I'm talking about, like the MX Garan, the FFAR, the Slash and Burn, the Malice, the Carver, all of those DLC weapons that we've got, whether they're ranged or melee, Treyarch has added them to try to give the game a little bit more of a spice and of course to put more money in their pockets because they've added them through supply drops so they make a little bit of a profit from that as well but what i'm going to be talking to you guys about today because we are getting close to the release of infinite warfare is the possibility of the last set of dlc weapons coming to black ops 3 i don't know if you guys remember back in advanced warfare but when that game was coming to a close and black ops 3 was being announced sledgehammer basically got to the point where they just started releasing dlc weapons left and right they wanted to essentially go out with a bang they wanted to leave people with something to remember them by essentially until three years later when they would come back and release their next Call of Duty. So I kind of feel like that's what Treyarch's going to be doing here for this year. But the big question is, what DLC weapons are we going to be seeing here if we do see any at all? Well, if you guys remember, the last set of DLC weapons that we got was the Katana and the Ace of Spades. Now, those were only the two DLC weapons that we got, and they were both melee weapons. And I think a lot of people were a little bit disappointed by that because we only got two melee weapons. And most of what people really get excited about are the ranged weapons, right? People want to use a weapon like the Peacekeeper or the FFAR, the MX Garand, or even a pistol like the Marshall 16s, just because that makes it a little bit more fun. A lot of people really don't like to necessarily use melee weapons. They want a ranged weapon that they can go ahead and use as well. And because those ranged weapons usually end up being pretty good as well. So what I'm going to be showing you guys up on screen here right now is a proposed list of DLC weapons that was actually released all the way back in either January or February. This was released very early in the beginning of Black Ops 3, and the reason this list has gotten a lot of credibility over the last couple months is because a lot of the items on this list actually ended up becoming true, and a lot of the weapons on this list ended up actually coming into Black Ops 3. So I'll have a picture of this list up on screen here right now for you guys, and I'm going to quickly read down it going over the list of DLC weapons with you guys. So as you guys can see with the picture up on screen here right now, the first item on this list is sword variations. We got that both with the Fury Song and the Katana. The second was the Mace. We got that as the Skull Splitter. The third one was the Spear. We got that as the Malice. The fourth one was a Sledgehammer, which we have yet to see, so that could be one of the melee weapons that we could be seeing in a final set of DLC weapons. Next one was the Axe, which we got in the form of the Slash and Burn. The next one was the Warhammer, which we actually don't have yet in this game. The next one is the Crowbar, which as you guys all know, came in as the Iron Gym. That was one of the earlier DLC weapons. The next one is the Bat, which we saw come in as the MVP. The next one is the Bowie Knife, which really didn't come as a DLC weapon in the game, although there was gameplay of it on YouTube, and people who had even played in live streams as well, which is pretty cool, but it was modded into the game. It was some sort of glitch that you had to do, so it wasn't technically a DLC weapon added, but there was evidence of it actually being in the game. Uh, the next weapon is the Taser, which we obviously got as the Enforcer, and the Ice Axe, which is not a DLC weapon that we've got yet, but again, we could be seeing that in the next set of DLC weapons. And the last one that we have here is the Shovel, which we did get in the most recent one as the Ace of Spades. Now, there are an other list of potential weapons that are floating around that could be coming into Black Ops 3 as well. Now, keep in mind, guys, this list actually came from way towards the beginning of the release of Black Ops 3, so just the simple fact that this list gained so much credibility just because all of those weapons, or at least a lot of those weapons, actually did come into Black Ops 3 gives us a lot of hope that maybe we could be seeing the ones that we don't have yet on this list actually come in the final set. So the other potential weapons that we have here are the Star Knife, which essentially is a ninja star. We have a Throwable Spear, which we have not seen yet. We also have the Ballistic Knives, which if you guys played Black Ops 2, you remember what those were. And then the Chainsaw. This is one that a lot of people are getting really excited about because it's definitely in, you know, the odd one out, I would say. It's not necessarily really a melee weapon, I would say, but it's also not a ranged weapon. I mean, it does act like a melee weapon, you would have to get really up close to them and be within the same range of a knife. But when a lot of people think of melee weapons, they don't really think of a weapon like the chainsaw. Now, I will actually be able to show you guys some gameplay of a chainsaw buildable for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 zombies in the background here right now, just to give you guys an idea of what some custom zombies developers have actually been doing to create this chainsaw buildable in Black Ops 3. Now, obviously, this is just a mod right now, and it was made by an independent developer, not Treyarch themselves, but it's still cool to see that people are applying this idea into Black Ops 3. So I would be really interested to see if that weapon actually did come into the game. Obviously, I think a lot of people would really like to run around using a weapon like the chainsaw. It would obviously add a lot of spice into Black Ops 3 and definitely bring us something that we haven't had before. So all of those weapons that you're seeing up on screen here right now are all melee weapons. Now what I'm going to go over here quickly for the last part of this video is some ranged weapons that we could be seeing in Black Ops 3. So I don't know if you guys remember this, but all the way back in DLC 3 on the map Rift, there was a wall in that map that had some ranged weapons on it that a lot of people took to consider as to whether 
or not some of those ranged weapons would be coming into Black Ops 3. Now, among that list of weapons was the M27, the MP7, the Hamar, and I believe the Remington, and those were all weapons from Black Ops 2, which would make sense because Treyarch made Black Ops 2 and then they made Black Ops 3. But none of those weapons so far have come into Black Ops 3, but obviously it would be really cool to see those weapons return. So I will have an image of this wall up on screen here right now so you guys can get an idea of what I'm talking about. And most of you guys will probably remember this wall. There was a lot of hype about it and a lot of people speculated, like I said, that we could be seeing some of these weapons come into Black Ops 3. So I'm just gonna give you guys my own personal opinion here. I would absolutely love to see the MP7 return in Black Ops 3. This is a weapon that I believe was the first SMG that was unlocked in Black Ops 2 when you first started playing multiplayer, and it's definitely one of the most iconic weapons in Call of Duty. Not only have we seen it in Treyarch games, but we've also seen it in Infinity War games and in Sledgehammer games as well. So it would definitely make a lot of sense for a weapon like that to come back into Black Ops 3, and it would obviously be a lot of fun as well. Because as you guys know, the only SMG that we have in Black Ops 3 as of right now is the HG40. So it would be cool to see the MP7 come into the game as well. Now the M27 is another Another weapon that I think could be coming into the game, but most likely it won't. Now, one of the reasons that makes me think that it won't come into the game is because we have a weapon like the ICR, which is already so similar to the way the M27 behaved back in Black Ops 2. But another thing that kind of pulls me in the other direction that makes me think that we could be seeing it in Black Ops 3 is because there are actually evidence of glitches that people have been able to do to mod the M27 into multiplayer within Black Ops 3. You couldn't shoot the weapon, you couldn't ADS with it, but the actual skin for the weapon, the actual model for it, was in the Black Ops 3 code and I believe still is so that kind of pulls me in the other direction makes me think that maybe it could be coming into the game but just the simple fact that it's so similar to the ICR I'm leaning more towards it not coming into Black Ops 3. The other weapon was the hammer now this is a weapon that I personally don't think will be coming into Black Ops 3. The hammer was a really good weapon in Black Ops 2 but it wasn't really iconic and I don't think it was a fan favorite so it wouldn't really create a lot of hype in Black Ops 3. I think if Treyarch is going to be bringing any weapons into Black Ops 3 it's going to be a weapon like the MP7 a weapon that a lot of people know and a lot of people associate with Black Ops 2 and with older Call of Duties, and that's not really what the hammer was. Even though it was a good LMG, it really wasn't iconic in any way, shape, or form. And the very last weapon was the Remington. Now, one of the reasons why I really don't think this gun is going to be coming into Black Ops 3, and this has already been talked about a lot, is because this gun is very similar to the KRM, which we already have in Black Ops 3, and plus, we already have some pretty powerful shotguns within Black Ops 3, and I think Treyarch has kind of picked up on the fact, I would hope at this point, that people really don't like the use of shotguns in Black Black Ops 3. They think they're pretty annoying, and when we already have really powerful weapons like the Brecky and the Haymaker, just to name two of them, it wouldn't really make a lot of sense for them to add such a similar weapon to the KRM like the Remington into Black Ops 3. So those are all of the DLC weapons that we could be seeing coming into Black Ops 3 within the final set of DLC weapons, but as of right now, this is all speculation. We are expecting Treyarch to go out with some sort of a bang before the Infinite Warfare beta, or maybe after the first two weekends that we have the Infinite Warfare beta, sort of in that dry period between the beta and the actual release of the game. Game. We could be seeing these DLC weapons then, or maybe we could be seeing them in these next couple weeks or in this next week before the actual beta drops. But I want to know from you guys down there in the comment section below, what weapons would you want to see come into the final set of DLC weapons if they were going to be added into the game? And do you guys actually think the final set of DLC weapons will be coming in? If so, when? I'd love to hear your opinions down there in the comment section below. Hopefully you guys go ahead and enjoy today's video. If you guys did, a like rating would be very much appreciated. If we could hit 100 likes, that'd be awesome. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. Comment down below. Has Hashtag DLC weapons if you watched it to this point in the video. And anyways, guys, thank you all so very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Until next time, everybody, keep gaming, and as always, stay cool. Adios.